going on guys it's your boy Diggs I'm going to give you a review on the Galaxy Note Edge 4 no, I'm sorry it's not a 4 it's just a Galaxy Note Edge alright now I've been using this phone for about three weeks um, you know when I put the unboxing on I told you I'd be doing a review on this so I feel feel like I've used it enough I can give a pretty good review on this um, point of reference you know I did use the uh, Galaxy I'm sorry the um, LG G Flex for about a year before this one obviously so one year with the G Flex and before that was the S3 so a lot of comparisons I'll be doing it with the G Flex just to you know I upgraded to this one so got to be able to compare it to something so I'm going I'm going to start off with what I don't like about the phone all right so number one thing I hate about this phone is the battery life it is terrible all right um when I went looking for the phone online um, it showed a battery life of 32 or 33 hours, while my LG G Flex only showed 29 hours. My LG G Flex killed this thing in battery. I'm not sure if this is, um, you know, if this thing just uses too much energy. I mean, I just pulled this off the charge and it's already down to 94%. I mean, my LG G Flex wouldn't go down that quick. Um, this was the same issue I had with the S3, kind of reason I hated it. The battery life is terrible. The only thing that this thing has going for it with the battery is the fact that you can fully charge it in one hour. But that being said, the battery sucks. Don't let anybody fool you. Um, the, the Note 4, my buddy has it here that I work with, and he gets battery, better battery life than this. But, um, yeah, battery life is terrible. Just as bad as, a you know, I mean, it's probably got a, an hour more than an S3 or something. It's really bad. All right, um, the only way that you're going to do that, and even when I have the power save mode on, not the ultra one that puts it black black and white or anything, even when I have that one on, it's still pretty bad. Oh, whoops, sorry, turn the brightness down. Give me one sec. Got to turn it back up. But, yeah, it, it's um, it's not acceptable. Um, that's the only thing I really hate, to be honest with you. I mean, things I don't like. Um, I mean, the S Pen, I haven't really found a function for this like in my everyday life i'm a car salesman hence why i'm in a brand new 15 uh pilot and on a lot of all these cars but i haven't really found a function for this in my everyday life um me being a salesman i probably should but i mean nothing I, there's really no point for this it's just a gimmick in my eyes and um another thing i don't like uh the edge is good don't get me wrong i like the features on here but I'm not sure if it's just the app or what, but like the CNN app, oh my God, it never does anything. All it ever says is loading. Never does a thing. I'm going to be deleting this app actually after I do this video. But I do like um, like the few features on there, and I'll, I'll get into that. All right. So, I mean, really not much to hate on it, but if you are somebody like me that loves your battery life, this is not the phone I get. I would say G Flex all day. Um, but you do also have the full crazy black and white power saving mode i mean in all reality i'm never going to use a phone in black and white why the hell would i do that i bought a smartphone for a freaking reason but if you were stuck all day without a without a charger you might be able to mimic the lg g flex battery life by putting it in black and white so you have that all right but what i do like about the phone um tons the phone is great um you know, real s smooth, fluid. I haven't seen any real freezing issues or anything like that. And I have tons of apps open. So you see what I have here? I have all these apps open. So, I mean, it runs real smooth even with all, all that being open. Um, I had a couple questions. People were asking me if I had any connection issues, like with the um, Wi-Fi or my mobile data. No, I have not had any of those issues. It's been pretty good. Um, the only issues I've been having are with Sprint. With the Wi-Fi calling, um, sometimes it gets service, sometimes not. But in all reality, it might not even be Sprint. It might be the uh, the Wi-Fi I have here might not be that great, because at home it works great. But that's about it on that. Um, cool features is the Edge. I mean, let's face it, man. This is this is great. Um, I know you can't really see it there, but if you look, I, I customized it myself. It says, uh, "How about them Cowboys right there?" I know you probably can't see it. But you can fully customize it, um, you know, like when I put my lock screen on. If you didn't know, I'm a Cowboys fan. But you see one of my lock screens on there. It's the, uh, I have the Dallas Stadium there. AT&T Stadium. A couple cool things you can do. Um, another cool one is the fingerprint scanner to unlock the phone. 
I know people that have nosy girlfriends will hate this feature, but you'll love it. <laughs> they won't be able to get in without your fingerprint, so make sure you watch your hand at night and they don't cut your finger off. So you got that going for it. Um, yeah, the edge is really cool, though. So, I mean, I saw that the um, LG has a phone that's coming out with an edge, but not just one, but with two edges. But um, I think that's good because basically it's going to open up developers to continue making apps for these edges. So that's good. I think we'll see an influx on what kind of apps you can put here. I haven't messed with all of them yet, I will admit. Um, I work a lot, so I don't really get to play play too, too much, but I do mess around. My favorite app on here is the S Health. You know, it keeps track of how much you're walking during the day, even takes your... Um, your blood, not your blood, your oxygen in your blood and your heart rate, all that good stuff. So it's good for that. How, do, how does it do that, you ask? It actually has a sensor here that reads your oxygen level, reads your heart rate, reads all that good stuff. So I don't know how it does it, but that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what the technology is called. And um, the other great feature, which my LG G Flex had, but it's here too, and I'm very happy that it's here because I was worried about losing it, is the remote control. It's a universal remote control. Um, you have the infrared right here at the top, and I love it. I mean, I, I couldn't live without it with my G Flex. I love it on this one, so it, it's still good. This one's actually a little bit better with features because it connects to your local cable provider. So, like, uh, when you open it up, um, let's see, connect. It should. I'm not sure if I have good service here. But you see, you can see your TV shows based on your cable box. You click on it when you're at home, and it'll just load up to whatever channel whatever's showing so I mean that's pretty good I do like that all right um oh, I'm sorry another annoying feature is s voice so when you double click the home button you get this stupid s voice that comes up every now and again it is more inconvenient than anything um probably going to be shutting that one off I am a fan of okay Google um and I have to turn that one back on but you know just talking to Google I get everything I need I don't need s voice getting in the way <laughs> uh camera is amazing all right, this is probably the best camera I've ever had on a cell phone. Um, not the greatest at dark, which most of these aren't because of the way the the light exposures and all that, but really good camera, live action, uh, 4K recording, and very high quality pictures. Um, it actually has this one feature that I really love. Um, if you ever get a chance to try it on this phone, is a selective focus. So if somebody was standing right in front of me, it would recognize that person and it would blur pretty much everything in the background of them and only bring the focus to them, giving it that kind of professional feeling to it. And it, it, it comes out really good. I got to say, it does really well with that one. So, yeah, the camera's a, camera's a plus, um, system's a plus. And I, I got to say, like I said, the only, the, my main issue with this phone is the battery life. I mean, if you're, if you're interested in, you know, just having a little flash, the Edge is the way to go. But if you want a little bit better battery life and pretty much the same performance, I'd say go with the Note 4. Um, this is, you know, this really all, the only difference from this and the Note 4 is a little worse battery life in the Edge. Um, but besides that, it's pretty, pretty good. I can't really think of any other things to knock it on. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying here. I'm trying to think if there was any other features or anything that I hated. Um, but really, no, it, it's definitely a plus. So, I mean, definitely, definitely, uh, if I had to rate it like out of 10, I would probably put this one maybe a 7 or an 8. Um, I'm a real harsh critic, though, and just to let you know, I put the G Flex probably about a 9. The, the G Flex is really good. I actually, maybe an 8 because I was kind of disappointed with the resolution on the G Flex. If the G Flex was like 1080 or more, I probably would have gave that a 9 to a 10. That phone is damn good, but this one, this one, I probably put around seven or eight. We'll say seven and a half. All right. Um, good phone. Don't get me wrong. Good phone. A little pricey for what it offers, in my opinion. I would say go with the Note 4 over this one if you're looking for a better deal. It, it's really not offering much more than the than the uh, Note 4. And um, you know, like I said, the battery life is my biggest pet peeve. Oh, the other thing I was testing. If you notice, I have no case on here. I haven't had a case on three weeks. My everyday use, I wanted to see if it gets scratched up a lot. Um, the screen's fared pretty well. I did get my first scratch right here, just from every day being in the pocket. It's a little one right there, so I will be getting a screen protector later so it doesn't progress any worse, but all in all, good. Um, if you have any other questions on this phone, feel free to comment. I'm very active on my YouTube. 
and um, I will be probably showing you guys how to root this phone shortly and uh, see what other cool things we can get it to do. Um, I am going to keep up on this. I'm stuck with it for a year, so <laughs> you'll be hearing more about this phone. All right, guys. Thanks. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you like to do. Hey, talk shit if you want to, if you don't like me, so I don't care. Whatever you want to do, guys. I'll talk to you later. Enjoy.